Hey, pleasant good morning to you. Uh, listen, uh, young lady, if you want to get a husband, feed the camels. Yeah, feed camels, man. Uh, if you're looking for a husband, take me seriously. If you're looking for a husband, you stand a good chance of getting one. If you feed camels, if you give camels water. Yes, do that. Uh, you stand a chance of surely attracting the attention of a searching bachelor. Now, where and where did I get that from? From the word of God. In Genesis chapter 24 and verse 19, it says, And when she had done giving him drink, she said, I will draw water for thy camels also until they have done drinking. And she hasted and emptied her pitcher into the trough and ran again unto the well to draw water and drew for all his camels. Eliezer was sent to get a wife for Isaac. And guess what? He prayed and asked God to send somebody suitable uh, to be the wife of Isaac. And the answer to that prayer was Rebecca, who came to the well and she gave Eliezer, Abraham's chief steward, water. And then after that, she offered to give his camels water. Ten camels. By the way, you know how much water one camel drinks? One camel, if he's thirsty, can drink about 20 gallons of water. And it is said through research, uh, that a camel can drink 15 gallons of water in 10 minutes. So guess what? Rebecca is an answered prayer in terms of what Eliezer prayed for, a suitable wife. What about her? Uh, she was industrious. Uh, she was a virgin and she was willing to feed camels. She was not only interested in hips, lips and hair, do no. Uh, and listen to this. Let me go back to part something. In Genesis, I, I have to be biblical. In Genesis chapter 24 and verse 16, it says, 24, 16 of Genesis, And the damsel uh, was very fair to look upon, uh, a virgin, neither had any man known her. And she went down to the well and filled her pitcher and came up. So what I am saying this morning is not only that she fed camels, she was industrious. She was not sexually active. And also she had a willing spirit and willing attitude. These are attributes that can help a young lady to get a good husband. Now listen, uh, let me close this way by telling you, if you're not a virgin, uh, that's not my business, you know. And I wouldn't even blame you because there are individuals who made mistakes sexually and they clean up their life and they make sure they make sure that they are living the correct way now listen so that's not and, and listen god forgives people god forgives people that's one and two we as human beings should forgive individuals so i'm not beating anybody for not being a virgin but listen to what i'm saying uh, educate yourself here here you didn't realize this you know Rebecca was educated in animal husbandry because she came to the well to water her flock. So here it is, young ladies. Don't sit there waiting for a man to come along to mine you and to financially take care of you. Say you're looking for a husband. No. Come back to it. Be industrious. Uh, don't be sexually active. Have a willing spirit, educate yourself, and of course, feed camels. God and Father, help some young lady today to understand that, that listen, being alone is not the same like being lonely. And help some young lady to understand today that they can be sexually pure and that they can be industrious and educate themselves and not just be depending on some lucky young man to come along to take care of them. Guide young ladies and young men as they choose proper life partners, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you. I shall see the